Greetings and salutations everybody, my name is Maya the King, and today we're looking at a small little itty bitty game that came out on Steam a couple of days ago. Sorry I'm a bit late in getting this out, but this game kinda snuck up on me. In fact, this is the first of two videos today, so, you know, stay tuned for the other one that's coming out here in the next few hours. But for now, we're looking at a game called Dwarf Shop. Now, Dwarf Shop is a shop simulator with, you guessed it, dwarves. You gotta help this dwarven clan lure their very own dragon by amassing piles and piles of glorious gold. Send one dwarf deep into the caves to find ingredients while the others craft various equipment and sell them to unsuspecting customers. And that's what the Steam Store page says anyway. And after playing the game over an hour I can say with certainty that they ain't lying. That's pretty accurate. So let's take a better look at this little game. It's ten dollars. So far so good. Not too bad. It's not early access. Another good so far. Does it give you what you're expecting? Yes it does. Is it adequate? Yes it is. I don't know what else to say about this game, so I'm just gonna kinda break it down for you a little bit. You play as these dwarves, right? And they bought the deed to some mountain from some stupid elves, okay? And what they want to do is get enough gold to seduce a dragon into living into their cave with them. By doing that, they'll show the world how great and awesome they are. Yay. And how do they intend to do that? In the most laziest, most boring way possible. By opening up a shop. Now, I'm not knocking the game or the idea. I'm just saying that them dwarves are some idiots. I mean, that's how you're gonna get all your gold? By opening up a small business? I mean... It's gotta be the most ridiculous idea a dwarf has ever come up with to amass large amounts of gold quickly. But hey, it's not too bad I suppose. At least it's legit and not illegal, so there's that. I mean, my thought would have been to mine the shit out of that mountain and just grab all the gold and gems inside it and then stash it into the treasury and lure the dragon that way. You know, like dwarves do in every other universe. But whatever, this works too I suppose. So yeah. You open up a shop, use one dwarf like a slave, making him mine every minute of every day gathering resources. The other dwarves open up stalls and craft items from the resources your slave found and then sell them to faceless ghosts. That's the game. There's hours of content here. Okay, you know what? That might be the wrong way to put it. There's about two hours of content. Maybe a bit more, but there's hours upon hours of gameplay. See, you see what I mean? The game pretty much introduces everything it has to you within the first couple of hours. But from there, it's the same thing over and over again until you reach a goal, all while these little mini objectives gives you purpose to continue. Now, a lot of what I'm saying can be taken negatively, but I'm just being honest. And honestly, I kinda like this game. And for $10, it's a pretty good deal. Like, if you have just 10 bucks lying around somewhere and you're looking for a little time waster that you don't have to put much attention or thought into, then this is perfect. I mean, it's fun, it's addictive, it's clicker bait. It's, I don't know, it's, it's a simulator of running a dwarf shop. What do you want from me? The, the, there's no plot, there's very little depth, there's not really a whole lot of innovation, but I mean, did you really expect anything else from something like this? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's just an average game. It's not good, it's not bad. It doesn't do anything great, doesn't do anything terribly. I mean, I personally enjoy it, but I can see a lot of people not enjoying it, and that's fine. But if you've liked what you've heard so far and what you've seen so far, then you know, by all means, pick it up. It is a fun, tiny, cheap little game that'll last you at least one full day, and no more. So I mean, hey, may, make your own choice. I mean, I personally, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I bought it, but you know, am I going to keep it? I, I don't know. I mean, I suppose that's the million dollar question. I mean, if I think of the time I played it, and what it was offering, and for how much money I spent on it, I mean, I know I enjoy it and everything, but I don't know. I mean, along with the fact that I'm, I'm kind of, you know, stuck between a rock and a hard place, I mean, I like the game, and I want to support the game, but I don't think it's good enough to keep my money. And along with that, I'm broke as shit. I have to scrounge up money for these games so I can keep the content coming. Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to get a refund, but I personally need that $10 for other games, like the one you're going to see later today. And I personally think that 
this just isn't a game for long-term replayability, and that's one of the reasons, one of the key reasons why I, I buy games and decide to keep them. Now, maybe if it had a little bit more content or a little bit more depth, and if I had a little bit more money, I'd be keeping this game. But yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm going to get a refund. And just to be clear what I mean by more depth, and a lot of people seem to misunderstand me when I say this. When I'm talking depth, I mean you get more than what the game advertises. You get more than the screenshots. You get more than the obvious stuff. It's a dwarf shop simulator, right? When you think of that, you're thinking what? You're going to be simulating running a shop from the ground up. From poor having nothing to rich having everything. And you're going to be dwarves. Maybe you'll be in a mountain. Maybe you won't. But that's kind of what you're expecting, right? When I mean depth, I mean more than that. I mean there's more layers. There's more than just what's on surface level that the Steam store page shows you. If there had been interesting side quests or quests, choices, dialogue options, fancy visitors, events that happen inside your little mountain store, unique variables that randomly pop in and out, those are the kind of things when I'm saying I wish the game had my, I would, I would probably keep it if it had more depth. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. And this isn't an early access. And you know, I'm I'm sure there there could be updates that would add stuff or fix stuff, but I highly doubt that there would be anything to give it depth. And so that's that's the number one reason why I don't feel like I can keep keep the game. Not only that, but it's the replayability I mentioned earlier. Because there's no choices, no options, and not any not even any really any real risk. I mean, the biggest risk you have is sending your slave to go mine, and he just faints in the middle of his mining, and then you don't even lose all the stuff. You just lose like half of the stuff he was he had at the time. So even when he goes down, you don't even really lose anything. So nothing really bad can happen. There's no save mechanic because there's not a save mechanic needed. There's no threat. There's no danger. There's no chance of game over. So it's... Especially since you don't pay bills, you have no money that's outgoing except you, what you put into your craft. So if you spend 50 gold to make a sword and then you sell it for 60, yeah, you only made 10 gold, but you didn't lose any gold. You see what I'm saying? And that's the mechanic. You never lose anything in this game. So the replayability is like 0%. So those two reasons are my two big reasons why I'm going to get my refund. But for the rest of you, I would still highly recommend you at the very least check it out. I mean, hell, you might be able to find more enjoyment than I did. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing technically wrong with this game except for the fact that it's missing a little bit of that depth and replayability. But personally, I just don't feel like it's worth holding on to. For me, it was a fun little experiment. And I want to tell others that if you have some money to spare, you know, pick this up, try it out. But, you know... I don't. Therefore, I need to get a refund. I'm sorry, game devs. I wish I could keep it. I wish I could support you. But your game just doesn't quite live up to the expectations that I would require it to to keep the money, to, to keep the game. When I, you know, for you to keep the money. But I hope the rest of you out there enjoy this game and really give it a chance. You know, and if you don't, don't get me wrong. If you don't like, you know, it's whatever. It's it's. We all have our own personal opinions and our own thoughts and what we like to play and don't like to play. So. You know, don't don't let me getting a refund dictate whether or not you should pick this game up. I mean, I'm broke, and I'm still required required to buy more and more games to make content, and every penny counts. I mean, I've returned five dollar games. I mean, I, every penny counts. I also have a history of being brutally honest. Whether it gets me a lot of hate, which it has frequently, or it gets me a lot of love, which I wish would happen more frequently. So. Take all I've said at face value. I have no reason to lie to any of my viewers or to hide anything. It's why I'm telling you that I'm getting a refund in the first place. So, you know, make your own choice. I just hope that I was able to help somebody at the very least understand what they're buying more before they spend the money on it. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that I've bought something and forgot I bought it and forgot that I, you know, only played it for an hour and a half and then two weeks go by and next thing you know I'm like why do I even have this I don't even like this game try to get a refund and it's too late so you know just be careful but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below uh, I really hope I was able to help you guys decide whether or not this game is for you or not and I hope I entertained those of you who were just curious so thanks a bunch for checking out my video I can't wait to see you all again on my next adventure and until then I bid you 
Very well. <laughs>